host Alex Kessler here with my co-host Ben Bateman and our two What's special up, everybody? guests, Chase from Mana Curves and Jess from Inkling Customs. Now, now, Ben, now's your chance to to be hyped. <laughs> What's up, oh. everybody? <laughs> um, actually, every day at our office, or even now, because we have calls scheduled specifically to coincide. Uh, a bunch of people in the art department would just play blow horns at 4:20 on the dot every day, and now all of the art calls are scheduled to be made sure that they fall on 4:20. So that's continuing in my day-to-day life. Um, oh Lord. Let me just tweet this out because things are being posted. We are live. I tagged you in things. I'm gonna, come, I'm gonna retweet you. Yeah. Um, so while we are all retweeting things, can each of us take a turn introducing ourselves while also talking about the commander that they're playing on this stream, uh, starting with Chase. Alrighty, hello, uh, my name is Chase, also known as Mana Curves. I like to do fun magic and commander stuff and deck building, and I love it. So, today today's events have been very fortunate and a series of them. Um... I lost my invocation <laughs> locust god, so we're going to use this locust god that I had altered, and then I put it in this big case of plastic because I thought it would be cool as art, but I can't find my commander, so we're going to use this big, chunking piece of plastic as my commander. This deck is nothing but wheels and locust generation. So we're going to be making some insects, we're going to be swinging in the air, we're going to be big and nasty, and it's going to be lots of cool card draw. Jess? Hey, uh, I'm Jess with uh, Inkling Customs. I make fun, silly tokens for magic. Um, today I am playing Estridge, and it's just basically like a pillow fort <laughs> and I attack you eventually I am Ben Bateman I am the other host of the Masters of Modern Podcast I'm playing Jilla the Blade Blossom I built this deck this afternoon uh, it's a cool idea I think it does some fun things I think Najil is good so hopefully it is powerful enough to guide me through not knowing how to play it uh, but I'm trying to just make uh, lots of tokens and attack with them. I, I'm excited about it. I am playing Cast and Mage. Uh, it is the three-year anniversary of me previewing this card. Literally today, I didn't even realize it, so I put a poll out earlier. I stopped including Cast in the polls because she just wins every time for reasons. But uh, uh, And so uh, there was a chance I was going to play Malfagor or Geist, but, and that's why the Geist St. Trap play Matt is out. But... When I figured out, due to Facebook memories, that Kess was, this is our anniversary, if you will, I figured it was time to bring the original one out for a jaunt. Especially because it's Ben's first time playing a new commander deck, so I wanted to, you know, have a good, stable baseline of what's going on. And, uh, yeah, so so uh, uh, Dan, Dan read in chat, uh, complimented the Seer Envisions play mat. Sick. An attack Kataka is excited that they are awake on the East Coast to watch. <laughs> we sympathize. We sympathize. Uh, let's make sure that everything is live and working. I'm excited, guys. I am too. Let's do it. All it's, right. it's time for school. Who goes first? Is there a way for the, the software to tell us? Yes, I don't know how to do it, though. Oh, uh... <laughs> table is it a button nope no nope. uh no idea all right here i'll i'll, I'll do the I'll, thing I'll, I'll do the thing all right well i got one i'm one ben's 20 cool. so 13 is uh jess so jess is first oh okay cool yeah so i was one through five chase was six through 10 you were 11 through 15 and ben was 16 through 20 Right. And then I roll. That way we don't all have to roll. It's a lot easier. YouTube looks good. Uh, chat? Twitch? Oh, we got a camera drop. <laughs> oh, no. camera drop. 
Okay, we're good. We're good. That's right. how I am meant for today. Okay. And today was meant for me. But you get a sick tour of my floor. Sick floor tour, am I right? Oh, man. Hey, you know, this is the kind of stuff floor. people pay for. <laughs> is the <laughs> sick floor tour. <laughs> oh, no. R.I.P. camera. Rest in peace, my camera. Let me just, let me just, uh, you know, hunker it down a little bit. All my cords are tangled together, so if I tug on one, they all fall down. There we go, kind of. Cool. We're back, baby. <laughs> okay, so Jess, you're first. Yeah, all right. So... Alex, are you able to hear me? Because I feel like I'm dying. I can't hear you. Uh, you're very choppy. Seems like you... You're all chop. Uh, Mostly chop. Uh, my all God, right. so many Good audio. <laughs> Good. Yep. All right. Okay. Um. I want to play. Sure. We're gonna play this one, and then I'll pass my turn. Glacial Force Fortress. Is a. Uh... Fortress. Is Chase here? I'm here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I thought it was um, Ben's turn. It's Ben's turn. Yeah. It is. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna cast a. I'm gonna play Savannah, and I'm gonna cast Birds of Paradise, and I'm gonna pass the turn. Uh, I'm going to draw. I'm gonna play Scalding Tarn, Fetch for Underground Sea, and then I'm going to cast Serum Visions. So let me find that Underground Sea. Is Kessa's uh, video kind of choppy for you guys, or just for me? Uh, it looks okay to me. Yeah, it looks okay ben, to me. Yeah, Ben, I think you're going to live in a choppy world this game, but for the most part, we can hear you, and luckily this is more of a static game, so... I'm sorry, you're all choppy. I can try to... I mean, is my video choppy, or is just my audio choppy? Neither are you choppy stop. currently. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Oh, Perhaps. all right. Cool. Sweet. Maybe... It's working. Uh, it's Monday. Visions. I'm going to draw, and then I'm going to look the top two and see what's in my hand. I'm going to want that. I put uh, top, top, and pass the turn. All righty. Um, mountain and go. Awesome. I got excited about your birds for a second when I was like, oh, yeah, it's an proxy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the version of it? They're all... <laughs> They're all props. Well, that's like a Modo Savannah, right? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. The entire deck. They're all and they're all printed slightly like smaller than they're supposed to be, so you can see the red guard <laughs> under it. Yeah. It's like really. Uh, it's okay. Hey, hey, Carson. Hey, Carson. Uh, Chuck Mitchell, we are playing Kess, Locust God, uh, Estrid, and Nagila. Sorry, keep keep going. I'm just. When I yell at chat, you can ignore me. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Yeah, no, I was passing my turn to Ben. Okay, sweet. I will untap, keep Riza. I'll go with the City of Brass here. I will cast... Think about this for a second. City of Brass? Uh, so I will I will cast uh, one two three I will pay a life for thirty nine. I will cast the Revy. Um, the Revy is going to untap permanent, right? So the Revy will untap this bird, and then I'll play a noble. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think I'll pass the turn after that. All good. All right. I will untap. Ooh. I will draw. I will play Sulphur Falls, and I will pass the turn. All right. Play down an island, and we'll go ahead and pop down a Cavalcade of Calamity, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Yay. Uh, Cavalry, I, 
luckily, thanks to Spell Table, I can just click on cards, and now it shows up in the top corner. So for people who want to know what that card does, it's right here. Isn't that nice? I love that. That's cool. Look at that. Uh, something is telling Carson that this is going to be the quickest game uh, that he has seen on Kessler's stream. I think that's fair. We do have two control decks, but we also have two more combo -y decks. So... Uh, Chris Lloyd saying I'm a little quiet. I I can be louder. I have I have software to be louder if, if the chat thinks I'm quiet. Uh, you you're fine. Like, what? what? I can turn I'm quiet. Off. Keep talking. Um, quiet. I moved the mic a little closer to my face. So that might be a little better. Yeah, that's better. Ben's volume is good. Cool. Nathan Lamb. Right. Uh, Nathan Lamoth is saying, can I win on the next turn? Well, you, news to me, because I don't know how to play this deck, so I'll try. <laughs> so, Derevi is in I'm play. I'm going to What is Derevi's main ability? Derevi, Derevi when, it, when, it, when a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I may tap or untap target permanent. But Najila's is not on the battlefield. So I think if Najila was on the battlefield, I could, but, well, but Najila is not. Play Najila when you untap, and then... Um, I don't know. I, I have two and one, two, three, four. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out on my turn. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> don't worry about me, Alex. You just worry about yourself. Uh, <laughs> Derevi, right? It's annoying that there's a Derevi and a Derevi. Let's let me just get on my high horse and complain. Also, spelling both of these cards. Wow, Derevi's a sweet card. Kess, why don't we play that card in, in, in Highlander? Uh, I don't know. You should. Uh, how do you spell Derevi? D-E-R-E-V-I. E-V-I. There you go. When All right. Uh, I'm just uh, searching for my Eidolon, and it's going to my hand, and I pass turn to Ben. While okay. I shuffle. I will untap, keep, and I will draw. Uh, first thing, so, okay, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, so that means that each creature that deals combat damage untaps something, is that what it is? Yes. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may tap or untap target permanent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it triggers for every creature. Okay, Kess has open mana. I do have open mana. What does that mean if I cast Najila for three and then attack, untap everything, second main phase, I can then pay five to have infinite attack steps if I'm not fucked with? Is that how that works? So that's scary. Um. <laughs> uh, so you, you, I'm confused. You'd only untap two things on your turn, not everything. Yes, but so oh, no, you untap uh, three, things. three, cast Najila, attack. You tap five, cast Najila, attack, do damage with three creatures, untap three things. No, because because birds, birds, and and noble, only one of them deals damage if it gets exalted. So I, I don't think I can win. I think I have to. I think I I think I would need another land right now. Well, yeah, you have to be. <laughs> oh, no, Gila's only three mana to cast. I'm just seeing that. Yeah, but it's five to activate. So like. Hmm. So I think I can cast Gila, dome for two, untap two things. John Lestrina is here to give a salute and straighten the tie. Straighten the tie. Call sign hashtag ladies night. Good to see you, man. Or or hear your name at least. Uh, yeah, I think what I'll do is go, let's go Noble, City, Savannah, and let's attempt to cast the Najila, yes? Yes. You, or 38? I'm fine with you casting Najila. What is the Cavalcade of Calamities? What does it do? Oh, whenever um, one drop attack, one, 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 one attacks, it does an extra damage, basically. 
Whenever a creature uh, with yeah. power one or less attacks, Cavalcade of the Calamity deals one damage to the player or planeswalker that creature is attacking. You can, yeah. in roll 20, just click on cards and play, and it'll show it on the right side of the screen as well. All right, so I'm going to go attack for two in the air right, right. and one uh, on... Can you declare your attack step, please? I will declare my attack step, Alex. <laughs> uh, Najila does not have haste, correct? No. Cool. And, uh, and, and, if I deal, and if I don't for two here, I untap two things. The best I have here is four mana. So I would then have to lay a land afterwards to be able to activate Najila. is what would have to happen. Cool. Uh, I'm going to uh, use Petty Theft to bounce uh, Duretti. Use Petty Theft. What is Petty Theft? Petty Theft is the bounce spell attached to Brazen Borrower. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you're going to attempt to get bounce to Revy, huh? I have going on adventure tokens somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, respond to that. Okay. I will uh, Veil of Summer here, Brazen Borrower. Cool. Okay. So I'll draw my card. Does Brazen Borrow now go to my graveyard? It does. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I'm still inside attack step, so I will come at you, Alex, for two. Sure, I take two. I will untap this City of Brass, and I will tap it for one, go to 17. Actually, well, whatever, I did it. Uh, Preordain. I took two or three. I forget. Uh, say that again. I took three, correct? You took two, because I, I only attacked for two. But don't you have a exalted? Yes, yes, you're right. I do have exalted. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna bottom bottom. Draw. Okay. Uh, I do not hit my land drop. I pass the turn. Oh, sorry, Hold this on. isn't roll 20, this is spell table. Did I call it roll 20? No. Hi, Etria 421. Uh, are you done, Ben? Yeah, I'm done. It's all you. I'll untap, I'll draw, I will play this mountain, and I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Untap, keep. Um, let's go ahead and drop down another mountain. Let's go ahead and tap two. Let's drop down an impact tremors. And then I'm going to pass the turn. So, so Jess, I'm going to need you to, like, protect us from Chase as I protect us from Ben. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unless you have ways well, to stop Ben now, then go for it. You do you. <laughs> Okay. Um, He's putting so much pressure on you right now. The politics of oh Alex. What, like, don't don't get manipulated by him. He's playing a very powerful deck. <laughs> I don't know. Did I trust Cass? <laughs> yeah, I I am speaking from a place of I want us to defend ourselves, not to help me win. Cass is a nice oh. guy. Not trying to win. No. Hmm. Carson says Chase is cool. And, Yay! Uh, and then Etria <laughs> uh, mentions that he has seen you in a bunch of streams, I believe. And Yay! Then, uh, then Hagen has said the alliance is complete. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. You pay no Chase attention has, to like, the mass beat me a lot. <laughs> it's true. I would say I've played Ch Commander with you chase four times now mm -hmm. and i am like yeah you've won two i've won one and then a straight someone else won one i think we're gonna do this for now because i need to draw cards gosh darn it i that played with help. carson uh pass. I, I was like wait a minute i've played with carson <laughs> it's like that's the carson's very lovely uh you 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 ended your turn just I did. All right, before you untap, I'm going to call Colligan's Command, targeting yeah. Gila and Brazen Borrower. Mm. Um, let's see. 
Let me respond to that. Damn. All the free counter spells over here. Um. <laughs> All right. So you are targeting. You are targeting Brazen Bar in your graveyard and Gila dealing two damage there. Correct. Uh, what else is in your? Can you I actually? Does Colgan's command? Uh, it just states return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Correct. Choose two. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Target player discards the card. Destroy target artifact. Or call against command deals two damage to target creature or player. Which is All right. So do you have any other? You have any other creatures in your graveyard? Uh, Brazen Borrower is the only creature in my graveyard. Okay. So. I, I'm going to deflecting SWAT um, because I control Najila, and I'm going to. You still get the Brazen Borrower, but I'm going to just direct the two at you. Okay. Uh, I take two. Cool. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. We do it every Monday. It's a new thing. Every Monday we play Commander. And Ben is slowly being introduced to the format. This is his third deck ever? Really second deck, like, oh. for Commander specifically? That's exciting. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Welcome to fun. the format. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm having, no, I'm having a good time for sure. Yay. Um, let's see. Attack, you may have a controller, create a 1-1 one, one warrior token that's tapped and attacking. Okay, got it. So I, so who has open mana to kill me or stop me? I have a blue, which is okay. essentially everything in Magic the Gathering. That is right. true. Yeah. That is extremely true. And Alex is tapped mind. out. Tapped and out. you got it. Okay, so I think I'll try to pay... Three mana here, paying another life, going to 16. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to Chromatic Lantern. Uh, then I'm going to enter... Carson says that Ben is hella CEDH, and I, yeah. honestly, I can't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I depowered this deck. I took all the like powerful cards out and like leaves every I took combo. out all the combo stuff. Najila's just good on its own. <laughs> Give me a break. I used to have a Najila deck, so I, I feel ya. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to attack for... Uh, let's just attack Alex, because he's a villain. <laughs> uh, I come at you, Alex, for one, two... So, And, and, then, a, and then a token that is okay. tapped and attacking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come at you, Alex, for three. Uh, Carson says, Ben, you're playing Grubby. That's a combo piece. And Ben's defense, he didn't realize that until it was in play. I'm taking three. No, I definitely real. I definitely knew the card was in here for a reason. I <laughs> he can't even defend uh, himself. Uh, I take three, and I'm taking three from your commander, correct? Uh, three from my commander, two, and one. So then let me see how this works. So untap all attacking creatures. You, they can trample life. Chris Lloyd says leave turn. Ben alone. He's a human. <laughs> uh, so then, okay, I will then trigger the three things, and those three things will untap one... Wait, actually, oh no! I need a creature to attack with. That's so bad. So if I untap three things here and then activate the thing, I have no creature to attack with. What are you talking about? You go infinite here. Right? I'm short of land again. So if I if I get an additional attack step but I can't attack with anything, then it's a useless. I don't win right now. Wait, you? They untap all your creatures. Oh darn! You untap your creatures. Nigella untap oh, all right, right, attacking right. creatures. Use... So you, you uh, untap, right. right now you, 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 you play. No, you have to pay five for that. You have to pay five for that. Yeah, you have five land, though. You have the mana for it. But I, but I, but I'm tap, I had to cast the chromatic land. Yeah, but so, you, you now but I, 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 I get it. No, sorry, no, no, sorry, no. sorry, sorry. So I deal, oh, I deal yeah. damage. Why do you have to tap, <laughs> the, tap, tap the chromatic land? You play chromatic land. No, I, I, sorry. I, I, I'm a dunce. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> I, I, uh, I have uh, these two uh, open. I paid. I pay Why two colors. You murder me. Yes, you're right. You can't do it. <laughs> I pay two colors. Then these things trigger. Then I untap three five color things, and then I pay the other three, and I untap all of my creatures, and then you attack. I believe, you make another token. I think I just unless unless I can be stopped right now, I believe I just win. No, you go infinite unless someone has a response. Yes, I don't. I, I like how uh, you know when I ask. 
So how many games are playing? You're like, I'll only do one, you know, unless someone like goes off like super quick. I don't think that's going to happen though. <laughs> I drew, I drew pretty lucky. I drew, I have to say, I drew pretty lucky. Like I, I, I got, I got like, nothing. I have like yeah. two. So <laughs> I have three more bounce spells in my hand, but <laughs> oh my uh, god! Well, that was. Uh... You know, I just got I just got kicked out of the cool kids lunch table is what just happened. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know you're the co-host, but like I think maybe you should leave. <laughs> 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 I think that would just be best for everybody. Um, oh, man, uh, Chris Lloyd asked, oh, were, "Are you playing uh, Arjun in your Locust God deck?" I am. Arjun the Shifting Flame is an absolute lad of a card in here. Um, I actually am foiling out my Locust God deck, so I have like some really pretty pieces in here. Like we got like the sick cavalcade, the pretty mountains, like all that. But unfortunately, there are some staples that you have to have in here that aren't foil, and Arjun the Shifting Flame is one of those foils. Oh, uh, does not exist. It, does not exist. That that was back before Wizards decided to print every like alternate colored legendary as a foil uh, for the commander decks, and I'm very sad about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Can we all just acknowledge for a quick second that actually, like, despite whatever else is in your deck, like Najil is a ridiculous magic card. If you protect it at all, it just wins on its own. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wait, I like didn't like totally realize how good that was. I was playing it. I, I played it specifically instead of Kaikar as my commander because I wanted to be able to play all five of the free commander counter spells mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as opposed to just just the three. But like, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, and the is on the list of cards that just like has a tendency to that no matter how you build it, it reads oops I won. Um, is the is for is the new Jace going to get banned in commander? I don't think so. No one's Pretty talking good. about it. That's good. It's just, it, like, Planeswalkers are inherently not that good in Commander, because... Uh, I would agree with that, yes. You have a lot of people that have to attack them. So for them to be good, you have to, like, do a lot of work, and he just mm -hmm. is, like... Pretty... There's a lot of upkeep in it. You have a lot of opportunities to kill that guy. Yeah, especially when... Um... I don't know, like when looking at Commander, the the jump for bands, I think the threshold is like way higher than um other formats. Because yeah, in other <laughs> Yeah. There's just like the there's so much to take into account. Like the um the fact that there's a difference in life total, the fact that there is like a difference in like uh you know, number of your deck also, I think, heavily impacts, like, the reasoning for a ban. There's also, um, there's also like, the social contract, basically, is a lot of it as well, right? Like, yeah. This is the one format where, just, like, if something is unfun and powerful, people will just, like, not want to play with it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. What, versus CDH, but, like, CDH, like, is looking for that, so even then... They're pretty fine. Like the the banning restrictions, like stuff getting banned in vintage vintage doesn't happen that often either, right? It's like, and that's basically what CDH's power level is at. Yeah, right. it's like the format is already so finely tuned. I think that it takes a lot to ban something. Although I I have some. If we're if we're gonna have if we're if we're gonna go to this road, I always thought it was. Um, I would have liked to have seen Lutri in action before a ban was was put in place mm. just oh, the because, yeah. yeah just because like there have been cards that have been spoiled where i am like this is gonna break the game and then they just end up fizzling out um, right. in play um across all formats not just commander and um i feel like lutri could have had you know oh, I'm so behind the chat. yeah sorry yeah that. Uh, one, I feel like he would be different. One of the things we were talking about is I think Lutri, if Lutri's text and, uh, requirement and the the Gruel text requirement, companion requirement were switched, I think w the world would have been a better place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, I think the fact that Lutri is, is it and an otter? So it's like this cute card in the <laughs> coolest combo colors is like the one that you can't play in commander where like uh. 
if its requirement was like you just had to have one of like no spell in your deck could have two converted mana cost in it, then like that's still a cool requirement and is fine for that. Versus like the red green one where like I don't think anyone would care. Like you already can't play that in most commander decks, right? Like because it's five color in its in its body, you like can only play that in commander decks that can meet that requirement or like five yeah. color decks. And then it's requirement. So then, like, at that point, who's really that sad that you lose it? Me and Carson, who is in chat, were talking about this the other day. Um, and, yeah, I think I think Lutri's issue has more to do with the card itself is cute. The problem yeah. is, like, every deck that has blue-red in it would be objectively wrong for not just having it available. No, 100%. I mean, Which makes there are... Expensive. There are some is it decks where I feel like it isn't called for. So like for instance, my Locust God deck, it's is it, um, but it's not necessarily sort of spell slinger. I would be able to get like some benefit off of like having Litri out and being able to wheel twice. But at the same time, they're like like in Mizix, it would be disgusting. But um, it, it's, I, don't, I don't think the issue is its power level. Its issue yeah. is that you are wrong for not playing it, right? Because like like mm -hmm. it's free. There, there is no cost for it being in the side in your sideboard other than like one less card in your deck, which is more of a benefit than a negative. And then, yeah. so then, if you're, I mean, obviously this is commander, so you don't have to be like peak playing magic, but like basically you're just missing out on always having that option. And it's such a versatile card that yeah, like just like mm -hmm. any spell you play can be copied. Most of the time, that's going to be very like is going to be decent, and you get to do that. Yeah. Like, why would you not play with that, right? And then, yeah. and then that means the card's like a hundred dollar rare. <laughs> Alrighty, I have yeah, I have to change my commander. Oh, the one of your worst first card in in, in commander. That's yep. See, uh, I'm playing the same commander because we didn't really get to play. <laughs> uh, I, I decided same. to swap it out. I I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a deck that usually has some nasty answers, but I'm trying to get some lands. Two, three, four, um, five. You get one, you get one free mall, right? Six seven. Yeah, um, yeah, you do. You get one free mulligan. Okay, I'm I'm gonna keep my I'll keep my mulligan. Okay. Uh this oh, is a this, this is a hand. We'll we'll try it. <laughs> one, we'll try it. Uh it's two. I go first. Uh all right. I'm gonna play I'm gonna draw a card. Remember to draw your cards, kids. And then uh play creeping target pass. Okay, draw Swamp Sigo. Okay, draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think someone has a good point that as long as you're, it's Tome and John. Uh, as no one really cares if you play with Lutri as long as it's not your companion, right? They just like most people are like fine if you had it as commander. Rule zero it. Misty go. And I'll go yeah. ahead and crack it. Sweet. I do oh, think for... as far as Oh, sorry, you go. Oh, no, I was just going to say, for those in chat, I'm playing Phage, the Untouchable. Sick. Uh, very big difference <laughs> in what I started doing. Uh, <laughs> so just, you know. <laughs> going going back to the Planeswalker conversation, I actually do think mm -hmm. that uh, six mana Ugin from War of the Spark is heavily underplayed in Commander. I think that's a card just that 90% yes. yes. of Commander decks should be playing. Because, yeah. like... Yes. Every part of him is good and worth six mana. <laughs> removal, He's removal, token generation, cost reduction. Draw. Are you done? Draws cards. Uh, Jess, are you done? Yeah, yeah. Past turn. Sorry, I'm in. I'm so into the conversation that I'm just like interrupting. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. no. I will also play I'm, this. I'm being Speed bad, wrath, it, but we can hit space and bar. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Cool. Untap. Draw. I realize. Ooh, I like that card. Uh, I will play Phyrexian yeah, Tower, and I will play Soul Ring. Ooh. Uh, and then I will play Serum Visions. Uh, drawing a card. And then it's wild, try right? two. Uh, I'll put this on the bottom and this other card on top. That's Serum Visions. This is the card that's going on top. I'll just put Serum Visions back on top with itself. That's, that's yeah. how it works, right? <laughs> All right, and I am done. Okay. Oh, yay. This is cool. I like this. Um, 
Let's play an Urborg. Well, they make mana crypts into, into the, they're better than mana crypts. Soul Rings with Ugin are, are mana crypts that gain you three life a turn by not doing three life a turn. So uh, Urborg and I tapped into a Soul Ring. Um, one, two, three, one, two. I don't have any other plays this turn, so I'm just going to pass the turn. Uh, uh, before you... Car Carson, ben, 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 Carson wants to know your uh, thoughts on banning Soul Ring in Commander. Oh, I think that's ridiculous. There's no need, there's no need for it. Here. Sweet card. I mean, it's sweet. Like, I guess, I guess, if you, like, it, it is a thing of like, you draw Soul Ring in your opening hand, and they don't, and then you're playing like a, an entirely different game. And considering all four people will have it in their deck, it's like a crapshoot of who's going to get it. But I also think Commander's a high enough power level format that somebody getting ahead on mana doesn't lose you the game. So that's a pretty Enchantress's presence. That is stunning. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's so Gosh. pretty. I think I think that's what I want. That's what I want. I was debating on getting um Stony Silence. Ooh, that would have been mean. That would have been mean, but I don't want to <laughs> be mean. I just want to draw cards. Have you ever okay. just Let's see. What? I was going to say have you ever just like said the name of a card but like you just you just you just it's weird to describe it, but like you know the card in your head, but you aren't sure if it's the card that you, that's in front of you. So, like for instance, you played Enchantress's Presence, and uh -huh. I didn't I didn't fully know it was Enchantress's Presence, but I looked at the art and I'm like, that maybe that you know yeah, like, yeah. the like the, the weird lexicon yeah. of cards in your brain they get all jumbled. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Soul Ring is important to Commander. This is for chat. I think Soul Ring is important important to Commander the same way Brainstorm is important to Legacy, right? Like Brainstorm arguably should be banned in Legacy because it is in too many of a high percentage of decks. It's extremely powerful. It probably causes unfun things. But then by getting rid of it, you're like breaking the reality around what that format is, making it worse. And Soul Ring, I think, is the same for Commander. The way that fetch lands, I think, are that for Modern. Oh, wait, did I accidentally? And the Power Nine are that for Legacy. I cheated. Ah. This oh, is my no. next. Card. I accidentally was like, oh yeah, that goes to my hand. Wait, no, it doesn't. Uh, I pat. Uh, I played Search of. Whatever. Uh, and I passed my turn. I'll pay one end of turn. I will go to thirty nine, and I will thought scour myself. Um, Mason Potato wants to know if the Moxen were magically cheap, like if every single person on the planet was able to get their hands on Moxen and Commander, should they be legal in Commander? No, price doesn't impact. Uh, just like the the, the way the card impacts the game. So so interesting enough when they banned the power in eight because uh, what's it called is not banned. They did ban them because of price originally. They've stayed there because of power level reasons and and because there's no reason to take them off. But their, right. their like intent when they banned them was A, Honor. we don't think the format could ever exist with these cards in it, and B, we want to differentiate it from vintage at the time. But I agree with you that they're from a... like I don't think they should be unbanned. I don't think they offer anything to the format that's healthy. Yeah. Um, I will keep these on top, and I will draw. And this is turn two, so I've already played a land, correct? Yes. Yes. Cool. yes. Um, I will pass the turn. Yeah, I think I think even if the price isn't an issue, they just like open the door for just Cheerios combo deck shenanigans, and no one wants that in anyone's life with good cards. Um. I draw Badlands and I play it, and I think I'm comfortable oh just rolling out there. Oh god! Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm going to play See the Truth. Stay. Uh, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of those cards. Let me just. 
bring that up. Hopefully, the, yep. Uh, look at the top of your cards of your library, put one of those cards in your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. If that spell is cast from anywhere then in your hand, you just put those cards into your hand instead. So, draw, look at three. Ooh, I will... Okay, what do I want? I think I want this card. As much as these other two are sweet, I will grab that. Okay, uh, and I will pass. Alrighty, let's do it. Draw... Um, I'll play a swamp. I'm gonna tap the soul ring. Let's play out of greaves. Then let's tap two. I'm gonna sign in blood myself. So I'm gonna lose two life and then draw two. If I can get my mouse right. Boink. That's a card. Those are cards. Um, and I'm just gonna pass. Okay. I'm going to untap draw. And oh, this needs to be under this. Derp a derp. Um Yeah, I think I think that's true, Atria, that like if the power nine were unbanned, the the like reasoning to like the color identity rule makes it so just like the amount of commanders you could play significantly decrease because you want to be able to play with as many of them as possible. Um, I play this duder, and I pass turn. What's your duder? Oh, are you playing your bant? Is that the bant uh, enchanter? Yes. Uh, Tuvasa the Sunlit, green, Love white, blue. Tuvasa. Merfolk Shaman. Tuvasa the Sunlit gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. Whenever you cast a, your first enchantment spell each turn, draw a card. She's currently a 2-2 two, two or a 3-3? Three, three? She is, um, yeah, it's uh What two, is two. Search for as Kanta on top of? Uh, just the oh, oh, placer oh. card. Got it. I go to 17, I cast Monastery Mentor. And I passed. All right. Uh, yeah, I told you this deck was fair. This is just a big, silly pile of crap. I just got lucky last time. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I play Islands. Um, so I want to play my boy. And to do that... Oh, did I draw a card this turn? What did I draw? Oh, I did. I did draw a card. So I guess that's the thing I should do, which lets me do this into this with one left. And worst case, I do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Seething Song. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh and then I'll use this for red mana. Uh, and then I will play uh, Ignite the Future. What's that? Uh, trouble. It's trouble is what it is. I just draw three yeah. cards for four mana. <laughs> I don't trust this card draw. <laughs> Ignite the Future. It's even bad card draw. <laughs> it's, it's like red card draw. <laughs> uh, it is three and a red egg sorcery. Exile the top three cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards. If this spell is cast from a graveyard, you may play those cards without playing their mana cost. So, ah, uh, very, very clever with cast. Is that a commander card? Uh, it is a commander card. It's from last year. Horses commander card. Uh, so I will exile the top three. Chat, let me know if I have to reveal these. One, two, three. Uh. Cool. I will have these face down. That's a stupid card. I hope everybody knows. The chat can tell me if I have to reveal them. <laughs> I do have to reveal them. Okay. Uh, it's Preordain, Runecatcher's Pike, Underground Sea. Gotcha. And I can... I guess I could just use, like, cast these things now. Uh... 
Yeah, I think that's the safer play. Uh, I'll catch Runecatcher Spike. And then I will cast Preordain. Scry two, one, two. And then I'll draw that on tap, put that on the bottom. And I will draw. So this is exiled, put that in the adventure section. Um, and then I will pass the turn. All righty, let's do it. All righty, draw one. That's a card. Um, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only you can only do like two things. Um, yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do one of those things. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's play a Magus of the Coffers. That's the red, that black one that you can just you you can uh, cabal coffers with it. Yeah. Uh, Mason Potato asks. Um, oh, sorry. Go. Oh, you're good. I was just gonna say, I, I alas, I can't do anything else. So I have to pass the turn. Uh, okay. Mason Potato asks, for Ben, are there any cards that you found from Commander that you'd like to be printed into Modern? Yeah, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of super sweet cards in Commander. And there, there's, I mean, I guess I wouldn't say there's a bunch, but there's definitely a, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> they're, they're like, I feel like a bunch there's is that, fair. I think a bunch is a fair, yeah. fair, well, cause it's totally basically like that serious <laughs> number. <laughs> that exercise that you and I have done where we, for, for Highlander, when we've looked through to find like the sweetest cards, most of those ones that we think are sweet, I'd be into it. Like there's that green, like, what is it? Like reclaim. And it's not reclaim. It's called something else, but it's like return target land from your graveyard to the battlefield for like green one. Oh, sure. That card's oh, really cool. I think I know what you're talking about. Like Brea would be really sweet in in modern. Like that's a very cool card. I think Duretti would be cool. I think Duretti yeah. and Derevi would be cool. Both both of them. <laughs> both Atraxa, <laughs> I'd be all about Atraxa in, in in modern. There's no reason to track. Like they're all slow Just four drops. You... That are... Oh, you're playing the Enchantress. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna draw. Wait, what? Wait, what did you play? The the green Enchantress that she. Yeah. The the Enchantress. Enchantress it's the enchantment. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry to do this, but I, I, I desperately, there's a reason. I'll show you why. I have to force of negation that. Oh, okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not, I should have done it with one of Alex's cards. I just, I waited now. Are we, I don't do, do I still, um, you still, do yeah, I you still, still get draw. to draw? Okay. Yep. Uh, That's that, rude. That is, Ben, the card on your board is which card? Which one? Monastery Mentor? Yeah. Yeah, so I get a token out of the Monastery Mentor. It's like oh, a yeah. weird promo. It is. It's this is like the fast like print all the cards. Um I'm sorry about that. I didn't I didn't that's not was not my plan. I'm not trying to go after your enchantress. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. I don't think you should listen to that. He just struck down. You tutored for that card. You went down two cards for that card. I know. It was really upsetting. I'd be mad. Uh, uh I'm just going to pass turn then. Oh, that was Mike who asked. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. <laughs> so here's turn. the deal. I pondered last turn, and I saw one land, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it was my third land, and everything in my hand is expensive. And if I hadn't done that, then I would not be able to cast this treasure cruise right now. It would just be dead in my mm -hmm. hand. I would not have a land drop mm -hmm. for two more turns. Mm -hmm. So I had to do that. I go I go to 36. Uh -huh. uh, with with, that, had to with do that statement, what are you exiling? Uh, my whole graveyard. <laughs> Uh, I, I needed the five cards to be able to get to. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh come on! I literally won't be able to play land. That's, that's my whole game. <laughs> I'm gonna exile this remand and forcible that. Why would you say that out You're loud? You're such a jerk. <laughs> I was like trying to be nice and explain myself. Done. Wow. It had to be done. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like Alex, what do you have on board? I have a Rune Catcher's Pike, a Soul Ring, and some lands. You're a villain. <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> ugh. I can't even... I can't even believe how... Just... Ugh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to attack you for five, Alex. Yeah, I take five. <laughs> I'm 
ship. One, two, three, four, five. This game's stupid. I'm done. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Thought Scar at the end of your turn. Uh, milling Spellseeker, Factor. Let me ask: in. If I hadn't said the thing about having no lands and expensive cards, would you have I'm still not, counted I, it? I would have counted that. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, untapping all the things, drawing for the turn. Ooh, is this good? Ooh, it is good. Ooh, it's like sweet too. Uh, all right, I will play Steam Vents. Oh, no, I won't. I lied. <laughs> I'll play Underground Sea. All right. I guess I could do sweet things. All right, so I could play my commander. And then I just don't... I just, oh, I get to see the truth this turn, which is sweet. Uh, no one has, like, artifacts that are exceptionally terrifying, right? You just have boots and what's the what's the black card that you make you that's a uh two tap them make one black mana for every swamp you control yeah cool but i only have two swamps well no technically three okay because Borg. oh so we all have swamps yeah everyone has swamps Ooh, that that is an interesting world that we live in uh Ooh. all my lands are dual lands um okay so that's so I can do the cool thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four and three. So I can't do that cool thing. I can do that and then just have this open for shenanigans. I like that. Okay, uh, I am going to cast my commander. I am in play. Uh, one, two. Uh, we just lost. Why? Three. Four. You draw three <laughs> cards immediately off that four drop. Five? What? Because you play it from your graveyard without paying its casting costs. Your thing from last turn. Exiles three cards. Oh, oh, oh. See the truth? No, oh, no. the red one. I don't, I don't have the mana to cast that. It's. I thought it was you cast this from your graveyard. You don't have to pay for its casting cost. No, no, no. You, you have to... It's, it's a flashback card that costs eight. If you cast it from your graveyard, you don't have to play the cards you draw with it for their casting cost. But with cast, uh, I, can, I can flash uh, it back to four uh, instead of eight. So it's like cute that, makes, that makes far more sense. It's not like you can cast this from your graveyard for free if you can cast it from your graveyard. That's a lot of words. Uh, I'm playing See the Truth, though, which is, like, sweet on its own, which is <laughs> just my own treasure cruise. Uh, and one, <laughs> two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I will uh, end the turn. Alrighty. Yoink. Yoink. We're very slow in mono black here. Swamp. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. We're just chilling out. It's fine. Um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, Michael says, such a betrayal from the man on your play, Matt. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so, I. Wait, sorry, go. Okay, I'm tapping two to tap my Magus of the Coffers. I'm going to have one, two, three, four uh, mana in my mana pool. We're going to tap five, five, six. And we're going to play Nirkana Revenant. So now my swamps tap for an additional black. Um, one, do, do, do. I will equip greaves onto her and then with my bountiful scary four mana open i'm gonna pass the turn Ooh, spooky. Liz, i got some uncharacteristic black cards in my hand i'm ready to i'm ready to mess some stuff up chase i'll tell you i'm pretty i'm pretty into what you're doing over there i think it's a really cool board and there's only one right. player i can think of that needs to be needs to be punished with all the power you have and that's alex <laughs> <laughs> i think what you're doing is special one of the people, i like it one of the people at this table has gone infinite this evening and it was not myself <laughs> ridiculous it was accidental I, I happened on it he can't even control when he goes infinite it just happens <laughs> fire hose man it's everywhere uh one i love shenanigans oh i wish i had i should be playing shenanigans in this deck that's a mistake uh, I'm gonna play Ghostly Prison. 
Oh, it's okay. going to be hard to eat. It's going to be hard to wait. <laughs> ho wait, hold on. I okay. I have I have a shoot. I have a question. I have an answer. Yes. Ask the chat. <laughs> is that is to chat and to you? Is that technically a summon spell? No, it is not. I mean, shoot. Okay, never mind. As you were. <laughs> <laughs> Summon spells are cool. I was like, stars. let me play my enchantments. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw from this. Uh, okay, can right, I do so... anything else? Oh, and then this gets up. Ben, do you have anything? Any creatures open? Uh, creatures. I have uh, one untapped. I have one untapped oh. uh, prowess token. Oh, I don't care about that. Well, then, never mind. Well, mm, nah. I'm going to just pass turn. Go ahead, Ben. Oh, I wonder what I'm going to draw. I wonder if it's going to be a land. <laughs> oh, that's right. Of course it's not going to be a land. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> It is my it is my life to <laughs> ruin you, Hitler. I can't believe you countered. Ugh. Yeah, these Ugh. tokens are a little painful. You can't say that was objectively the wrong thing to do. It was the wrong thing to do. I mean, morally no. maybe. But... I value loyalty. I got none from you. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm gonna cast Sylvan Library. Ooh, I don't okay. feel bad. That, that's gonna find you the land you need all oh, without an issue. You just need to pay some life. Yeah. It's commander, you have so much life to pay. I'll uh, trigger uh, monastery mentor. Yep. And mm -hmm. uh, Alec, you have cast open. Is that the I deal? Do you have cast able to block? That's a three four. It is a three four. Hmm. Anybody? What, what creatures on the other rest of the table? We got an Arcana Revenant that's pretty big. Uh, we have. A I can make her party. even bigger too. Yeah, I don't want to hurt you because got... you have three four. And you should kill Alex. <laughs> oh, I can't even attack because ghost, ghostly prison. But that, is that just attacking you, though? Yeah, that's that's just yes. Okay, yeah. yeah, no text. I'm done. All right. <laughs> Untap. Be a little sad because you forgot the card that you have is the sorcery, and you want, we're gonna could have cast it. Uh, play steam vents. Take two. All right, we get to find out. Does this put it on top? No, put it in your hand. Does anything put anything on top? No. Cool. Uh, any of these scry? No. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I am going to for four. Where's underground city now? Uh, I guess the blue man is important. Yeah. Uh. it's not important. I'm going to play Primal Amulet. Uh, instance, it's an artifact. Instance and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Primal Amulet. Then you flip it once there's four counters on it. Then it becomes a land. Uh, and then I will cast moment thank you chase uh i will cast um ignite the future mm -hmm. uh exile the top two cards of your library until in turn you may your turn you may play those cards if the spell was cast from your graveyard you may play those cards without paying their mana cost so i'm exiling island wheel of fortune cryptic command so mm -hmm. those are all terrifying uh, you can play them all for free i can play all of them for free until my next, Aww. until the end of my next turn. Alex, Aww. just wheel, just wheel, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so about you wheeling right now? I am then going to, all those things are enchantments and I don't want to pick a fight with Chase. That seems like a mistake. Uh, hey. I'm going to reanimate um, Spellseeker using the card reanimate. Mm -hmm. So I lose three life. Mm -hmm. 
and find a, uh, what is it, a incident associated card that can run cost two or less and put it into my hand. Uh, and then I will be ending my turn. Alrighty. But you can't cast them at any time. It's the sorcery still a sorcery. So you can cast cryptic, and then until the end of your next turn, you can cast wheel. Correct. Right, okay. Um, I just really wish I could get phage out without killing myself right now. That's not the case, though. <laughs> um, that would be helpful. It would be super helpful. We'll tap a... Uh... Actually, hold on. I think I might have a way. One, two, to tap my Magus for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna use seven of that when floating. We're going to play Platinum Angel. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> Don't you dare. How much mana do you have? Oh, you only have two mana. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I have four mana. <laughs> but you don't have the nine needed to cast Phage, correct? Phage is uh, seven. Seven, okay. But what, yeah. yeah. We're, you don't have that. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four. I have five mana, so no, not yet. Okay. Um, okay. All right, I appreciate that. Because uh, mm. I am so looking for... Mm. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That seems fun, but no. So let this just one. F Actually, no. Um, I'll use this one right here to give my Nurkana, Nurkana Revenant one one. I'm going to tap this for. Um, let's see. Two mana. And I'm going to give Nurkana Revenant an additional. Two, so now under counter revenant gets three three until end of turn. I grabbed I grabbed cyclonic rift with spellseeker. Oof. Don't you dare. Um no. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, maybe. We'll see. No, it's not yeah. okay. I just realized it's not okay. Okay. Because I <laughs> can't read. Um moving to combat. Um really wish Narcana Revenant had flying, but um, actually, I'm gonna take it back. I, I'll I will use the one to give her the one one, but I'm then gonna let it fizzle because it's it was gonna fizzle anyway. And I'm actually just gonna pass the turn because, um, actually, um, on my end step, I'm gonna put Greaves. On Platinum Angel, and then pass. Strong move. Okay. I'm gonna draw. Let's see. Do I want to keep this? So I had to step away. What happened? Oh, I just uh, I put Greaves on Angel and then pass. I I decided not to dump mana into Revenant. Got it. Um, Carson has said Ben uh, summon real. Proxy some real tokens, you fiend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I played so badly trying to force a negation that Enchantress's presence just to try to get my treasure cruise. I think that was a bad move. Should have held my free counter spell. I mean, sometimes you make a mistake. Uh, well... Only you countered it, you troll. <laughs> Hold on. Is that what I want to be... Yeah, that's what I want to do. Alright, I'm going to play Gift of Paradise. Um, so I gain three life. Unless, or is that okay with everybody? Yep. Yeah, okay. wait. Wait, hold on. I gotta make you sweat a little bit. What'd you play? Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Gift of Paradise. <laughs> when it enters I'll... the battlefield game. Uh, yeah. Me as a mono black player will allow it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I allow it. <laughs> that was so much for my life. All right. Um, so now this enchanted land gets two uh, mana of any color. Okay, so we'll, oh, and we're gonna draw our land from our guy or draw. That's neat. 
Um, what do I want to do? No. We're gonna do this again. Um, we're gonna we'll put New Horizon. Uh, I allow it to resolve. Oh, thank you. I'm just, just gonna do that for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna draw again. Cool. Okay. So I have four enchantments. So now he's a six six. <laughs> Do I want to attack anybody? No, I don't hide think so. Time. I'm going to just... Huh? I said hi, oh. Bishotem. Hey, friend. Or Bishotem. I am not to be counted on to read people's... I don't know. Correctly. <laughs> exactly. Same. Oh, garbage. Garbage person. Uh, and I pass turn to them. Go ahead. All right. Rock and roll. Uh, all right, so during upkeep, or draw step, I should say, I will draw three cards off the Sylvan Library. And put one of them, two of them. Uh, yeah, why don't we put... We'll go ahead and put that one on top. I'll pay the... Yeah, you know what? Actually, I want them all. I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay the full. Uh, Was it four per? Sure. I'll, I'll go down to twenty-eight. Seems like good draws. Do it. <laughs> all right. So then I will cast, a, or I will play a flooded strand. Mm-hmm. Crack it. Go to twenty-seven. Get a Mechanic Island. Oh, Ben, you're very blurry. Oh, you're no longer really? blurry. It fixed itself. Don't worry about it. If I had not sent anything, it. it would have been fine. Uh, then I'm going to... I haven't cast anything yet this turn. So then I'm going to tap one, two... Uh, let's say one, two, three... I will attempt to cast Najila. I have a response. Come Ooh. On. I will tap <laughs> two black and I will pay three life. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to Withering Boon. <laughs> and I'm going to counter. It's Mono a hard counter? counter? Yep. Hey, Apache Kid. Yeah, Mono black. Here. Yep. Mono black. Counter target. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, this is normally in my deck to counter my own creature if someone tries to get rid of one of my you don't you you die things, um, but it's also fun to just shock people with. <laughs> gotcha. All right, let's I'm do the sorry. command zone. Uh, it is countered. <laughs> I was waiting for you to answer because last game I'm, I was a bit salty. I'm sorry, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is us punishing you for accidentally. Uh... <laughs> So now, I'll, now, I'll, now I'll play this mox. Now I'll play this mox amber that doesn't do anything, and trigger uh, <laughs> and get a counter out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, what up, Nevermore Alex, Game I, Studio? Am I able to attack, attack you at all, Alex? No, you're you I have, have you I have two blockers. Spellseeker and Kess. Yes. My mentor is just a three-three, and my tokens are just two-twos. Uh, Platinum Angels in play, and otherwise you have like a giant thing, and I have no mana to pay for that ghostly prison. So I <laughs> end my turn yet again. Now, Carson does bring up that she telegraphed it extraordinarily early <laughs> that she had that counter spell. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I think, I I think like, Ben's yeah. I think Ben's indignation is more from like why counter him when there's other people doing things than than Alex is gonna win the game. Like, I was trying to cast Angela so I could literally use Mox Amber. But whatever. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, mm. Salt. Uh, I draw a card. <laughs> uh, I will, from my graveyard, cast Seething Song. 
it resolves. Yeah, I can't. I can't interact. <laughs> One more no. red. Um, Not exactly have... over here. Like I, I can counter stuff. Two... Yeah. Just to test what of it? What of it? Uh -huh. Five. <laughs> uh, I will. I'm gonna tap this one. Tap this one. Believe it or not, I have another mono black counter something in this deck. <laughs> is, it, is it Nash Hopes? Uh, no, it is not. It is, um, it is not what you would expect. He, it's a creature, um, and his, he has an ability to counter. I just don't remember his name. I'll have to look him up. Uh, I will tap these three land to play and use two of the, or three of the floating red mana to play mm -hmm. Niv Mizzet Perun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will then... So, uh, I'll, I'll just bring Niv Mizzet up. I'm just gonna do shenanigans. Niv Mizzet. Oh, which one is it? Perun. Cool. Uh, Niv Mizzet, this spell can't be countered. Flying. Whenever you draw a card, Niv Mizzet deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, I draw a card. Um, so, with my one, two, three, four... Five, six. I will sacrifice Spellseeker with my Phyrexian Tower, making two black mana. And then I will tap two red, one colorless, two black, one blue, and then use Primal Amulet for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cast Cyclonic Rift. Hmm. I'm gonna be. Very rude. That is rude. <laughs> I have I have no responses, unfortunately. I have more bad news though. Oh, I draw a card. Oh no! We'll deal damage We're to. About, uh, I'm gonna get wheeled out. Uh, Chase. One to me. Yep. Okay. And then I. So this is at three now. This primal amulet. Uh, I will then cast. From my oh, no. own wheel of fortune. Yeah. Uh, no, I like everything that I have. Um. Uh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Hard. In res in response, I'm just gonna do this just to uh, protect everybody at the table, and also because I have no way of getting it back. I'm gonna tap a black. I'm gonna dar darkness. Darkness is, is prevent damage. So. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. I don't know if you're going to swing at anybody, but now I'm just going to chuck it because I'm going to lose it. Uh, I will draw yeah. a card and do. I'll do two damage to uh, you, Chase. Okay. And I discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, drawing seven. That sucks. One, two, three, four, uh, I don't five. Think when I discard matters. So yeah, I'll, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I discard eight seven. cards. I discard Dragon Skull Summit, Rakdos Carnarium, Embrith Shieldbreaker, Ashiok, Colgan's Command, Grave Upheaval, Torrential Gearhawk, and Dark Ritual. And then draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that is fascinating. Uh, and I will, oh, I guess this gets flipped, right? Then there are four more charge counters on it. You may remove those counters and transform it. Okay, so this has been flipped. What does this do on the backside? I've never flipped this card. Primal Wellspring. Transform from primal land. Add one man of any color to your mana pool. When that mana is spent to cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. Got it. Um, do I have any mana to cast a spell? Uh, I can play this. I'll play this island. Uh, I'll oh, I have I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage triggers. Uh, I'll do seven to Ben. You're such a jerk. I'm going to come to your house when this game is over. <laughs> right. uh, Good, funny. And then you were you were raced combat damage for the turn, correct? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, this is my apology to Ben. Uh, I'm sorry. I will, in the interim, I guess I will... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll equip... Uh, cast Descendant Mage, and then I will cast 
cryptic command, drawing a card, and tapping all creatures that Ben controls. I don't even have any creatures. I know. So I, have to, <laughs> I, have to, I have to do it. So I draw. I draw two cards and do one more damage to Chase. You're gonna just, you're gonna tap my creatures, not like bounce someone's permanent. There's no. It's just bouncing a land. I don't want to bounce someone's land. I'm not here for that. <laughs> wow, Alec, he's Robin Hood, truly a saint. All for it. And then I will uh, end my turn. Discarding okay. down. Um, you I make will... you make me sick, Alex. <laughs> so aggressive. Uh, I'm s I'm I'm sad, but it's it's okay. I'm sorry. There were, you had. I'll you play had Platinum Angel and play. <laughs> Yeah, and it was going to be great, and I would have hit you, but, you know, it's whatever. All right. Um, <laughs> he takes stock. Just, just, just make sure we don't, like, 100% just lose to, like, the threat of blurry cards. Alex, like, what do you have right now, actually? You have Kess in play, Niv-Mizzet in play. I have Kess what? with the Rune Catcher's Pike on, Niv-Mizzet, and then I have a Primal Wellspring that lets me copy spells if I cast them, and a bunch of lands. I, in, my graveyard, you have them? in my graveyard, I have Cryptic, Wheel of Fortune, Cyclonic Rift, Reanimate, Factor Fiction, Thought Scour, Force of Will, Preordain, Zero Visions, Dark Ritual, uh, Grave Up Evil, K Command, and then Spellseeker, Torrential Gearhawk, Ashiok, Emberith, Skybreaker, and then some lands. Can we? Okay. Can you counter? Can you cast a force of? No, you can't cast a force of will from your graveyard unless it's on your turn for its free cost. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Even then, I don't. Maybe I can do that. Chat, let me know. Um, I'm gonna tap five. Chat I'm gonna to increase the ambition. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna just search for a card and put that into my hand. So ambitious. Um. Well, you know, I was do I was pretty ambitious earlier, but then it was stolen from me um, <laughs> by a person whose name rhymes with uh, Malix Messler. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> it's a hateful person um, <laughs> makes me so sad. <laughs> and that's my turn because I have to I have to <laughs> restart my soul ring, my mana. I'm back at five mana, hurting real bad. For sure, you can't cast it on your turn, Carson. But can I pay the alternative cost on Force of Will with cast? That I don't know. I should know that. You may pay one life. Well, what does cast state? What is, what is cast state? You may cast one spell from your graveyard. During each of your turns, you may cast one instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard. Yeah, so I think you can on your turn. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. That's well, just, Alex, like your last I, I hope I did not steal your your the will to live. Chase, I would feel bad. It, it's we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> but we'll pass the turn. <laughs> I have lost to both Emery and Locust God, so I'm not <laughs> feeling too bad. I haven't even murdered okay. anyone. <laughs> we're gonna play words to so words of of win. I have I have the perfect uh, card uh -huh. for this moment. Don't worry. Oh yeah, Ben. Chase. Yes. Oh. This is BDM's tiny, <laughs> tiny violin, and I may tap it to play a sad song for you. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um. Okay, so I play that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play another land. I'm gonna uh go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cycle. This card, the farmland, uh, and draw the card. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and bounce, right? Return permanent, he or she controls to owner hands instead. But what should I bounce? I don't think you can bounce oh, cats. I think it's, I think it's greed. Oh, no, 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 it has, it has Pike on it. And I guess he, he'll just replay it. Bounce any the, permanent. Uh, the next time you draw a card for each turn each player returns a permanent here, she controls to his or her hand. Is it? Well, a, I just want to like slow you down. I guess. Do you bounce? I, the I just want to deprive you of your stuff. Do, you know? What's the? Do we bounce the thing or do you bounce the thing? I bounce your thing. Each player returns right? a permanent. No, I think I choose what I return. Oh, okay. I don't oh, know wait, for sure. So I'm 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 looking up the. Wait, old. so I have to. So the I have to bounce something too. 
Yeah, I think everybody no! has to No! I could have done oh. something! It is both very oh, no. good, but words, not worlds. Words of wind. Wait, we all bounce yeah. a permanent? The next, the next yes. time you would draw a card this turn, each player returns a permanent he or she controls to his opponent's hand instead. They so they, so instead of drawing a card, Jess can force us yes. to return any permanent we want to our hand. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll return one of my lands. I will return <laughs> I will return Urborg to my hand just so I can deny uh him some black mana. Okay. No more swamps. Uh, you don't have any. In tower to my hand. Uh, and I pass the turn. Go ahead, I then. Go Sorry, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was oh. just one person. I'll drop. Yep, let's play the Savannah. And... I'll play Hero Blade Hold, I'll pass. Hero Blade Hold and pass. All right, I untap. Sad violin untaps. <laughs> Draw a card. Uh, all of these cards are the same. I don't like it. Uh, I'll... I think I want to replay Phyrexian Tower. No. One... Two, three, four, five, six, and then I have three, four. So we can play this. Okay, let's uh, let's be as spicy as possible, right? That's the goal here in Magic. Mm -hmm. Be spicy. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will play Thousand Year Storm. Oh, mm -hmm. so we're we're dead essentially, I right? Think, I think so. Maybe. I just know that in in this kind of deck, compare, yeah, yes, <laughs> that is the correct <laughs> we answer. We are we are definitely dead. I didn't um, even mm. get to kill anybody. Mm. Uh, that's bad. Ponder. Yeah. So that's just one. So I will look at the top three. And then Ten. I will draw one of them, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I guess I don't want that one. Um, I guess actually it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, I will then flash back Wheel of Fortune with oh. Primal Wellspring. No. <laughs> oh, I'm not drawing cards. I also do two dam three damage to uh, Ben. So can I just it. say, can we just take a moment to mourn my hand very quickly? Yes. Bullis' Citadel. Oh. And Intimidation. Oh. The card I tutored for that could have gotten me my commander. My oh. land, a shit ton of lands, and then this Reaper that, um, I'm just oh. sad. So, I'm just um... sad. I'm discarding mostly just lands, but so to kind of walk, I'm copying it three times. <laughs> so wheel? The the wheel. So I do draw one card from Nib Mizzet before that happens, and it's Murder Shroud that gets discarded and shuffled into my deck. Shuffled or put on the bottom? bottom. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, guys? It's 10.30. Is this our last game, or should we scoop and play one more? I can scoop and play one more. But it's also very late for the East Coast, which is where we're. It's at. one thirty here. <laughs> um, let me draw. You're I... not gonna let me draw my twenty. No, cards? I'm not gonna let you draw your three wheel. <laughs> In response, I scoop because um, I just feel like it. Yeah, I do the same. I'm not gonna do the satisfaction. <laughs> you Four, criminal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen. And then I draw seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, these will go to my graveyard. Cool. What, what do I put in here? So this doesn't matter. It matters how many instants and sorceries I have. One, two, <laughs> I like how three, he's still doing four, it. Four, We're gone. Five, <laughs> six. Did I get there? I don't need you guys. <laughs> One, I can two, play three, the game four, by five, myself. Six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh my god. It's actually solitaire. 18. 
So I would have... <laughs> ah, cool. All right, I got there. I could do commander damage with Kess <laughs> holding the catcher's pike by herself. <laughs> it would have hit. <laughs> That's what I wanted to get to. Cool. So are you guys going to bed? What? Are you going to bed or... or... It's up to you. Um, I'm tired, but I can maybe do one more. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how long. I was about to say, I'm going to do my quicker deck, so Fair. I'll play, I can I'll do play one guys more. who is aggressive. Okay, I can rock more games. Can I? Can I, 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 I guess. Do you want to play Sid? I'll, I'll stick try with my Sage again. Because oh, I just want to. Slow. <laughs> Mage is slow, but I love her, and I I, I want to give her the love she deserves because she's one of the coolest commanders I think you can build around. Yeah, she's really sweet. I I thought it was really cool. Just like everything we saw so far was sweet. I'm excited. To yeah. See yeah. If um, only I could ramp a little faster. I've done some crazy stuff with this deck, so we'll see if I can get there tonight. Kess is in a weird spot where it's like. Not powerful enough for CEDH, but maybe slightly too powerful for, like, not CEDH? I don't know where yeah. it belongs. I wish I could keep that hand, but I, I built can't. a second Kesta purely just because I wanted something that was a little bit more fun for people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna okay, keep Alex, if I keep, if I keep going this way and I keep uh, doing this with you guys on Mondays and I keep building decks, eventually I'll have, like, you know what commander players have right like four or five six decks like hanging around that i can pull out at any time yeah well yeah. join us i have like seven it's so financially burdensome but great <laughs> <laughs> well especially especially right now at least with covid we're just not requiring real cards uh, mm -hmm. right debatable if we would require them not in covid but definitely in covid we're not requiring it yeah. So. Now, speaking of things that are sweet to do magic-wise during COVID, one of the things Alex and I have been talking about a lot is this Highlander Gauntler format. Uh, it's on Highlander, <laughs> Highlander Arena Gauntler. Uh, so, <laughs> Highlander Gauntlet. Uh, there is a Discord. I can actually show a link in the chat for the Discord. You should. Well, and I'll tell you, it? Cass, you know who I spoke to today who was about as excited about this format as anyone? Does it, does it rhyme with Mavin Blairy? Yes, it does. And Gavin, <laughs> Gavin was hyped. He was he was like, we got to do we got to do one of these these BTs. We do a little, you know, we got to do that. We got to like he was he was all about it. So, um, uh, yeah, he's he's gonna build a wheel. He, and he he was like, it sounds like the perfect perfect way to have solved the format. So, because you know, obviously playing with paper, it was really hard to get people into it. So this is a thing we're really putting time into sure, for, for sure. those that don't know. Yeah, let, me, about. let me explain what it is because we're not. Uh, so basically, the way it works is. Maybe have talked about Highlander Gauntlet, which is in paper, six decks. The only ban list is a reserve list. This is on Arena. Every card that is on Arena is legal. There's no ban list. So Oko, Field of the Dead, the extra turn card, all of those are legal. But you have to have four decks, and each of those decks have to be um, singleton amongst each other. So if you have Oko in one deck, you can't have it in the other three. Or if you have... The, the one thing you can have is, like, mountains, right? But your mana base has to be singleton other than your basic lands. Um, and you play 1v1, and then you roll off, each each round you play in a best of five or best of three match, you roll off to see which card you play with. So every game you could end up with different matchups. It's extremely fun 1v1. It's really, 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 really replayable. In paper, it's maybe my favorite way of playing Magic, and we've figured out how to put it onto Arena. The Discord we just shared... Uh, is a link to it. There are more firm rules. If you go to um, the rules uh, section on the Discord that we just shared in chat, uh, you'll be able to kind of read all of the different specifics. And then there's people there looking for games. You can put deck lists. I put my first wheel up there in the deck list hashtag section. Um, and yeah, we love the the playing people. The the nickname for it is Hag or Hauge. I forget how Tappy pronounces it, but uh, Hag H A G. Highlander Arena Gauntlet. Definitely recommend it. It's a blast. Hmm. Also, we have a monster. Oh, that's that Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Oh, and I can't spell things famously, and so when I made the original Discord channel section on one of the Discords I'm in, uh, I spelled it Highlander Gauntlet, and uh, we'll never live it down. <laughs> Highlander Gauntlet. I like it. 
It has it has like a certain air about it. Uh Cowboy Bebop. Oh yeah. This is all foil guys. This is my 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 prettiest deck. Mm. Alrighty. Are we rolling off? Uh yes. Though I think it should be between you and Jess since we have been have gone first already and I feel like Oh, I went. You went first? first. Oh, it's Ben and Chase should roll off then. Okay. A. Hey. Yeah. Uh, so, so Chase is odd. Okay. Odd. Yes! Okay, cool. I wanted that. <laughs> Excellent. All right, oh, is everyone cool. keeping? Well, I'm last, so yeah. like, I have time to shuffle still. You better go. You're good. Excellent. I will wait for Cass. No, no, uh, go. Go, go, go. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, draw, because I always forget. Um, and a memorial of folly tapped and then pass. Draw. We're going to play a forest. We're going to play scout. Pass turn. What is scout? Uh, she's hexproof and a 1-1. One, one. Gotcha. Um, oh, she dropped the cards. Okay. Wait, I, I apologize that game one and game two are both me, Ben, just like comboing <laughs> off. No, that's cool. Normally, I see not. how you treat right. your guests. I, I promise. No, I'm joking. I, I will pay to right. Defense, we murdered each other, and then you both scooped. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So we weren't mean. I'll to you, pay though. to life, and I will get taxi and probe targeting you, Alex. Uh, okay, one second. I don't have a hand yet. All right, we've now gotten to the point where you're going to have to wait for me to continue what I'm doing here. All right. It's not going to matter what you do. So when you I see your hand, I'll see it, and then I'll volcanic island, then I'll mystic remora, and then I'll that'll be my turn. <laughs> Did you play mystic remora? <laughs> uh, I made it so it doesn't expire, Carson. Uh, I don't know how to if that changes ever, but it it does not expire. Oh man, this deck is so pretty. Uh, is this hand keepable though? I think it's fine. All right, uh, I will show you my hand. It's Temple of Enlightenment, Core Haven, Polluted Delta, Scalding Tarn, Shark Typhoon, Swords of Plowshares, Celestial Colony. Ugh, I don't want to write that down. I'll take a picture. Anytime I ask you to. This. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, and then I'm done. After I play my Mystic or more, I'm done. Just posted in the chat Discord. Um, I play. Oh, I draw a card. Sorry, one second. Into the chat so everyone has this picture. If you look at Discord, my hand is in it. All right. Um, I will play Temple of Enlightenment. Scry. Keep on top. End turn. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop down a. Swamp. That's tap two. Drop down a torpor orb and then pass. Alright. We're going to untap. We're going to draw. We're going to... Um... <laughs> Michael, you can tell Ben is a 1v1 player trying to write down someone's hand. So right... <laughs> <laughs> If you if you type exclamation hag in chat for now on, you uh you can just make the Discord for Highlander Arena Gauntlet show up. Actually no. Carson no. has hacked his way into my my nerf herder bot for my channel. So Um <laughs> uh, Kes, take one. Wow. That's all I got. Yeah, I do one murder <laughs> the table. Just no, attacking you. What was that? What was that spell you played there that's next to your scout? Oh, I, no. That's, uh, that's my commander. Yeah. Oh, got it, got it. Oh, got it. Uh, it's like a mutate deck. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I'm um, playing a mutate deck. It's like, it's like a slippery boogle, but mutate. Love it. Anything else? Uh, and I pass turn. Go ahead, Ben. And turn. I'll pay for the remora. Oh. Wait, Carson, did Logan fix the bot? Is the bot fixed? Hey, Charge Particle Gun. Uh, originally, I was playing um, Kess Descendant Mage, the original deck I ever had. 
Uh, ben won the first game going infinite on turn four. I won the second game going infinite on like turn six. I didn't go infinite. I just wheeled four times with Storm in play. Uh, and then, Your turn out. Uh, oh, and we need to make sure Chase. You, I think you need. Or wait, I think you need to fix your life. Oh yeah, sorry, my brain. No, 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 so you're good. Great. I was just like, I'm like, yeah. I should be that low. <laughs> I should change my commander name too. Uh, if everyone wants to change their commander name, unless they did it already and you all did it already, and I'm um, just the only oh. monster at the table, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Geist of Saint Trap. There you go. I don't have commander damage. <laughs> I can't believe Ben played a turn one Mr. Grimoire. Oh, is it my turn? Ben? Ben, are you muted? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, I will <laughs> play this Core Haven, and then I will play this Sundial into the Infinite. Oh, okay. I like that card. If someone's going to end my turn, stop. you're damn straight it's going to be me. <laughs> Sigo? Yes, I am done. Yeah, Excellent. I've had guys since Innistrad. I, this is this is the first and only deck I've ever foiled out. Uh, and I'm always excited. Let's drop down a Whisper Silk Cloak and then pass. Ooh, you got some sneaky, got a sneaky unblockable phage coming to somebody. Oh, and Torpor Orb is in play? Yeah, Torpor Orb's in play. Bateman, I dropped. Mm. Oh, Phage is an ETB, not a cast trigger. That's dope. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Makes dope. her hard to play. <laughs> uh, where is... Well, easier though, right? Because there's way more things that stop ETBs than there are things that stop cast triggers. Yeah. I'm going to uh, cultivate. Arch deck. That's in theory. This is... I'll draw. Ben, do you have an animated uh, yeah. version of your face? Like a what? Do you have like a cartoon version of your face? I don't. Really? You don't have like a like a, a schmodown animated thing? Um, actually... Thing? No, there is a drawing. Like, you want me to take a picture and send it to you? Yeah, well, because... Cause... Uh, Chase and Jess both have like logo drawings of their faces, and so for the the thumbnail, we can just do all cartoon all the time. Mm. Yeah, theme. I go on here. I'll I'll take a picture. Last week, I just used young photos of everyone, but Tappy didn't get me her young photo, so I used a dinosaur, the baby, the baby Velociraptor from Jurassic Park coming out of the egg. <laughs> that's that's the same thing. Yeah, like, yeah. I see no difference. <laughs> No one's noticed. <laughs> oh, and I, I passed. Oh, wait. I put one in my hand. And then uh, I passed turn. I don't know if you knew. Benjamin. Oh, he left. I didn't ben, like ben attacking. All right, I'm back. Um, Me. All right. Untap. I think I've drawn enough cards. I will let this Mystic Remora die. Um, is that usually how people do it with this card? They draw like six and they just let it go? It depends. It depends on like the game and when you cast it. It's very CDH, so in that format it does a lot more work than in regular C EDH. Gotcha. Right, like in regular EDH a lot of people just like play around it or just like you'll draw, like, three cards off of it. In CDH, you can draw, like, a lot more. It's also very Wait, good in Majolta, just, like, lantern. regularly. I'll play a Lantern. I'll... Actually, this seems kind of sweet. <laughs> I'll pay two life. I'll go to 36. I'll Noxious Revival the Remora back to the top. <laughs> um... Oh no, that doesn't work. Oh no, that was dumb. Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. Take it. I take it back. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to just discard cards. So I'll uh, chromatic lantern. I'll, I'll mental note myself. Hit a murmuring mystic and a force of will, and I'll draw. And then I have to go to my uh, discard step. And I have nine cards, so I will discard two cards, and then I'll pass. All right, I will untap. I will draw. Nope, this card's not good right now. Uh, and then I will play Scalding Turn, and I cool. will pass the turn. All righty. Swamp, we're going to tap four. I am going to Diabolic Tutor. Wait, in response, I'm going to fetch with Scalding Turn. Okay. Uh, don't, don't tutor yet. No, don't counter my tutor. I'm not going to counter it. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to, like, char target yourself or something? No. Are you going to dark that reversal? I'm going to cast Ape and Mind Sensor. I can't tutor? Uh, you, you can only search the top four cards of your library. I really hope it's there. If it's there, it's sweet. <laughs> Three, four... Wow, it's not there. Um, but I can put I can uh, put one of these in my hand, right? Yeah, yeah, any of those four you you can grab as long as they fit the requirements of the tutor and your tutor is anything. So literally, you get you kind of played four mana ponder. <sighs> well then. Sorry, no one we're... ever plays tutor when you have open mana. <laughs> Mine said that was too exciting for me. <laughs> I'm so sad now. Is that only uh, a flash trigger? Is that just now forever? No, that's forever. If it was flash trigger, it would have torpor would have stopped stopped it, right? It's so okay. so. It's just it's a static. If an opponent would search a library, that player searches the top four cards of their library instead. That is that ruins a big old chunk of my plan. Sorry. Thought we were trying to play fast here. Hateful. Um, I'll I'll get rid of that. Yay! Um, pass the turn because I'm sad. I played a land for turn, right? Okay. Yes, I. Did. I won't block. Okay. Uh, you pass turn, so yes. we're gonna untap. Um. Ah shit! What do I want to do? God damn it! Well, I know I'm gonna play this land first. Um. But he's just gonna flash another time. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna uh, mutate and place the correct mana with a uh, gemstone recluse. Whenever this creature mutates, you put two plus one plus one counters on it. So it is now a four five. Um, and Kess, you only have the one. I have Third person? That's it. Okay. I have I have a sundial oh. infinite, but that doesn't do anything. On, okay. On any buns turn but mine. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna attack you. What is it? For four. It's a four five. Just four five. Okay. Uh, it's not a yeah, just for four five with reach. Cool. I'll take four. Ooh, I get to use. Okay. Uh, you attacked me once, right? So I fetch. So I'm at thirty-four. Uh, and I passed turn. Go ahead, Ben. All right, I'm gonna pay two. Do the thing I was gonna do last time. Um, I'll Noxus Revival. I'll attempt to put this Mystic or more on top. Um, tap. I'll draw it. I will attempt to cast it. And I will play a Mana Confluence. 
Then I will attempt to cast Najila. Sure. And that will end my turn. I'll untap. I will draw. I will play Polluted Delta. I will fetch with Polluted Delta. Oh, no, I won't. I'll just cast Geist. Geist is good. And then I will swing at Jess in revenge for... How much? Uh, two. Two? Okay. Fair enough. Yep. So, Alex, what do you what do you have right now? You have one blue black open. I have an untapped polluted delta and a guy's the same draft in play. Got it. Okay. And we know you have a storage supply charge in hand. Mm -hmm. I like how innocent he sounded about that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And whose turn is it? Alex passed, I think. Oh, okay. whoa. Sorry. My yeah, bad. I didn't hear. I was like, wow, someone's <laughs> doing something. Draw. Uh, land for turn. Um, that mind sensor is still an issue. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, mutilate. Uh. All creatures get minus one until end of turn where it's the number of swamps that control, which is one, two, three, four. Yep. Whew. Five? Four. Four. I'll draw off the Mr. Mora. Guys dies. Back to the command Whew. zone. Back to the shadow. Um, and next turn I'll be able to safely tutor, so I'm gonna pass. <laughs> 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 Sad face. All right. Now, on top. Oh, your thing was that how many is a four or five? Oh, man. Dodge the mutilate. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's bad for me. Um. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna mutate again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So now it's gonna be a 10 so Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, return target creature card with mutate from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Yep. Um. Guess take 10. Or wait, no. Do I wanna be that mean? I don't know. Uh, uh, you, so, yep. You so does how does commander damage work with mutate? <laughs> uh, so you'll be it would be ten commander damage, okay, I believe. Yeah. Okay. It, yep. Cool. Uh, so you are. I am going to. Why is it? I don't want to chase. Uh, You're seeing at me? No, no, no. I said I don't want to. Okay, right yeah. I was like, don't hurt me. I was, I've was, i spared your creature. So every time this creature mutates, it gets plus two, plus two. Cool. So okay. it's had four counters, and then it's a six, six. Got it. On top. Cool. Um, ben, take ten. Oh my gosh. And ten commander damage. Alex, do you want to... Uh... Maybe it has hex do something like that, or I can't. Yeah. I physically can do nothing. Uh, and it has trample now. Uh, have I taken any damage yet this game? Uh, uh, I don't believe so. No, but you are taking commander damage, so you want to keep track yes. of that. If you click on your name in the app, 
there'll be okay. all of our names with commanders, you should be able to tick up and for commander damage. So you want to take 10 and then also uptick uh, O-Tree Me, the ever playful, up to 10. Gotcha. And then if you take 21 commander damage, you die. You die. Got it. Okay. I take 10. Uh, and I, I passed turn. Go ahead, Ben. Um, you cast no non-creature spells, huh? No, mutating is a I did what? mutating is a yep, creature no. spell. Yep. Nope. All right. Tap. Keep. Pay for the remora. Draw. Play underground sea. And. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cast Njila again. Go ahead, Alex. I will... I guess not fetch. There's no reason to draw. That is... a card. <sighs> okay. Uh... Huh. play Ancient Tomb and Fetch with Polluted Delta. How come you're fetching? Grabbing Hollow Fountain? Because I'm going to play a spell. Oh, oh sure, sure, <laughs> sure, sorry. You said it a second ago, and, and when you said it doesn't make any sense, I was thinking that we all had Chromatic Lantern. That's just why I, mm -hmm, I was like, you don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, 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 I was thinking of... I was, I was debating if I should fetch at the end of your turn. I should have, in hindsight. But at the time, I did not have a spell I wanted to cast. And then I drew a spell. Kind of. That's not exactly the order of how that works. Uh, and then I will play... Um, Shark Typhoon. Just straight up. Six drop shark typhoon. Yep, enchantment shark typhoon. Oh, that's Artist a good card. Point. I'm done. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Boink. One, Brayden two. wants to know, Ben, if you want to play CDH sometime. This so we, time? Not tonight, I don't think, but uh, in the future. <laughs> uh, right now, I think... Um, oh, what are we seeing? Oh, there's like a, a lot going happening. Got it. First two were won by CDH decks. Like we got out first two. Well, this is the third game. Cast a CDH and patient. Yes, this is the third. Wells, we got a game by CDH. Sorry. Yep. It's your turn. You're tutoring. Or no, you're you good. Liliana. Uh, yeah, I'm playing Liliana Vess. I'm gonna minus two her to tutor and uh put search for card. Put that on top of my library. So I'm gonna get a card. Put it on top. Uh, there's my card. You don't have to see it, or I don't have to reveal it. Um, I'm so used to playing Diabolic Tutor that now every time I tutor in black, it's my gut reaction to reveal it. But there are just some tutors that say don't reveal it. So, um, Ben, you, Alex, can... what did you play on your turn? I played Shark Typhoon, so you can draw off a Shark Typhoon. Sick. You also can Boom, draw there's my card on top. I already drew for Lily, but yeah, I'm, I'm drawing for Shark Typhoon now, too. Um, and I have nothing to do, so I'm going to actually just pass the turn. Okay. Wow, Mystic Remora is so good in Commander. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to... For this... What do I want to do? Uh... Mystic. Mystic Remora <gasps> is so good in Commander. Mr. Ada, a dash, Mr. At, Ben Bateman Media. Hmm. One kill, Ben. I feel like I need to. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. 
I think Cuss is the real problem. Yes. Wow. Two problem. games in a row. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Ben has had Mr. Grimora has infinite mana commander in play. <laughs> He's drawn like the cards this game. Like, you know my hand was all right, Alex. I'm, you can't I, talk your way out of this one. Everyone knows what you did. Everyone knows what you did. You did the same thing, but earlier. <laughs> no, it wasn't nearly as evil. It was accidental. <laughs> uh, I, I currently like, have to cast big sorceries to eventually get sh shark friends. <laughs> and had yeah. two of my cards wiped from my hand. Ben just has had his commander ready and waiting to go but see so ben what do you have yes. you just have your commander or i have, have uh, five lands a chromatic lantern a mystic remora and my commander okay so but creature wise two attack steps that's it i just have i just have Najila. okay <laughs> Najila goes infinite with a ham sandwich <laughs> that's true I'm going to throw a ham sandwich at you if you don't shut your mouth. That was our <laughs> chat. You should be very nice to them. They're very supportive. <laughs> well, so here's... I just feel really bad. But, <laughs> like... So, I'm going to play Pouncing Shorter <laughs> Shark. And I'm going to have you bounce your uh, commander. My Najila? Yeah. I think that's fine. That's not even that mean. He gets to pay it for three mana next turn. <laughs> ben, but ben, do you don't ever, I kill him? Do you kill him? Is your thing yeah, 21, 21? 12, 12. Oh, 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 you're going to murder Ben. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, hang on, hang on. I'm going to respond to you casting your bounce spell. So, oh, okay. Uh, when you cast it, Mr. Gamora triggers, first of all. Yes. We'll draw. Um, all right, so then with it, with you targeting it, I'm going to uh, cast Obscuring Haze uh, uh -huh. for free. Uh, prevent all damage that would be dealt this turn by creatures your opponent's control. Okay. Well, then, okay. Well, so I to can't you attack. you or in general? In general. Okay. By opponents. Oh, in general? Yeah, so all, all, creatures, all creatures to all opponents until the end of this turn is prevented. Of mine. Uh, well, that's upsetting. Oh, well. That's fine. Oh, ben, um, ben, you you, don't, you don't, tried to kill me. Ben, you shouldn't have drawn a card off of the the uh, creature, the bounce spell. Why? Because it's a creature. Oh, it was a creature bounce spell? Yeah. Oh, my, my fault. Um, Just don't draw on your I turn. Know. Just don't draw okay. on your turn. Or, yeah. that, that'll, be my, that'll be my draw on my turn. Yeah, mutating well, is Or if I draw it before then due to someone else, I'll just draw it then. Yeah, it's only relevant if that was the card that you drew to yeah. prevent damage. It was not. Okay. Okay. That, that's all I got then. Uh, I passed my turn. That was my turn? Go ahead, Ben. Yep. All, you... all right, so now I got to think about this remora here. So do I pay for it or not? And I think the answer is yes, I do. I'll draw. Yeah, I will Raven, play this. Michael, and Carson. Bloodstained Fire. I'm going to cast this Mox Diamond, discarding Polluted Delta. Um. <laughs> play Mox Diamond. <laughs> you like act like it's silly, but these are just good cards. I'm just playing good cards, okay? I know. No, Sounds I'm... like a CDH player to <laughs> right, me. Exactly. <laughs> I'm playing good cards. <laughs> so uh, right, I'm going to cast. Najila. Najila. Hey. And then I'm going to end my turn. I have strong questions in regards to how mutate works, but we're going to find out. Uh, uh, I am going to play Celestial Colonnade. I am going to tap all of my lands. I'm going to Terminus. I'm going um, to, in response, make a shark token. <laughs> and in response, I'll draw a card. 
a terminus. I have to remember what terminus does. I'm uh, looking it all, up right now. All creatures on the bottom of their owner's libraries. Oh, cool. I got nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it hurt me. Is, I believe a benefit to you, Chase. See, I if, I'm, I'm helpful. I can be helpful. I'm sometimes helpful. For a second, I thought mm -hmm. it. W I don't know why, but I thought Armageddon, and I was about to scream. Oh, no, no. I've, I, I like have a video planned to record and produce specifically about <laughs> how Armageddon is not a good card. Not it okay. is a unfun card, but is a bad card. <laughs> I should. All right, so so I, I I can I can put Angela in the command zone though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I does do all of and, the mutate creatures go in the command zone? No, they get no. exiled basically. Oh, they get exiled. Okay. I believe that's how mutate works. Chat. So wait, what did the what did it do? You broke up. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Terminus puts all creatures on the bottom of their owners' libraries. Oh, oh. Yeah, then it would put everything. Cat. Oh. Oh. The bottom, I believe. Carson's okay. looking up how Terminus works. That's a good question. It's weird. I know it always makes always... things weird. No, everything if goes it... on the bottom, then you can decide to move your commander. Okay, so everything goes on the bottom, and then you can decide to move your commander into the command zone. Okay. Is what Misha was saying. Say, I know if it dies, then it exiles everything. Okay, cool. I think I think it's different. It's it's not that anymore because they added death triggers. So I think actually now if it dies, they just all go to the graveyard, and then you can choose to put the commander in your command zone. Mm -hmm. uh, so my okay. shark, my shark does go away, right? There's no way for my stack to live in a way that it gets to survive. Cool, I'm done. Yeah. Alrighty, boo! How dare you, Cass? You you were good. I was. I'm protecting Ben. Ben, I want you to remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you two at each other's throats earlier? I'm. Yeah, he's, he's he. Alex is full of it. I'm I don't here give for him any friendship credit. and good times. I'm never. I will never forget what happened last game. We'll never forget it. I just saved your life. I saved your I don't life. Care. I don't care what you did. I, I'm gonna I, kill I, you for. I lost two life to save you your life. Uh, um, well, no, when you put, well, when you put it that way. I'm gonna put uh, Lily at one. I'm gonna find a card. Um. And put that card on top. So give me a second to put that card on top. Cool. Wherever that card is. I need to find a very specific card. From the comprehensive rules, if a commander mutate pile leaves the battlefield and the commander is moved to the command zone instead, that permanent and the other cards contained by the permanent go to the appropriate zone. Well, the commander goes, uh, the commander card goes to the command zone. Damn, that is a, so many words in a paragraph. Oh, it's on chat, too, so everyone can see it. That's cool. I'm glad I did that yeah. this time. Okay, I'm going to shuffle, put that card on top, and then I'm going to actually do things on my turn. Okay. Shuffled. Make sure I didn't shuffle it in. Correct. That goes on top. Um, I'm then going to tap two. I'm going to play another Born Altar. What's that? I am immediately... Uh, oh, what? What? What is another Born Altar? Oh. It is an artifact that says tap, put a soul counter on it, put my commander from my uh, into my hand from the command zone, and then I lose three life for each soul counter on Netherborn Altar. Gotcha, so I'll draw. So I'm going to put one soul counter on here. I'm going to tap it. We're going to lose three life. One, two, three. We're going to put Phage into my hand. That's dope. That card it is really cool. dope. I love this card. It is brand new. Uh, very thankful for it. Uh, I think it's from the Acoria. Yeah, the uh, one of the new yeah. ones. Cool. Yeah, one of the newer ones. Um, cool. I am completely and totally done, so I'm just gonna pass the turn. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna draw. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I do this. Funny. It's really funny that we went from three weeks or four weeks, is this week five? Uh, five weeks of single games that lasted three hours to today, where we're, we're going, we, have, we got the three games. Yeah, we do. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is that? Uh, it is a Will of the Wisps. 
uh, has flying and regenerate. Uh, one black. Um... Brayden says, Spine. Mystic Remora is how you keep up card advantage while playing highly interactive magic. Yeah, why not? Why not, she says. Um, then we're going to play Dreamtail Heron. This has flying, and whenever this creature mutates, you get to draw a card. So I'm going to draw my card. Ooh. Cool. And then I'm past my turn. Um, Alright. Did you play a non-creature spell? I did not. Alright. Uh, okay. It is my turn. So, Alex, what do you have in play? Uh, Shark Typhoon and Sundial of the Infinite. Remember, I saved your life. You would Wait, what's right down now. the bottom right here? I, I hear you. What's this harpy with the counters on it? Flying through for regenerate. Yeah. Okay, and then up top we got a Lily at one. Is it target opponent or all opponents this card for the plus? I think it's target. Um, yeah, more, target more importantly, she has Phage in her hand and can play it. I can't. But Phage has to deal damage to someone to kill them, right? Correct. Which yes. Silver Silk Hook, which gives it hexproof and unblockable, or shroud and unblockable. Yeah, shot and unblockable. Well, uh, it gives it yeah, shot and unblockable. All right. Um, uh, Liliana Bess is plus one. Target player discards a card. Minus two. Search your library for a card. Then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Minus eight. Put all creature cards from all graveyards on the battlefield under your control. The plus one is a target player. I'll play a Flooded Strand. I will... I'll cast a Ristic Study. Ew. And... Classic. Gross. The card Classic. draw is insane. And I'll leave uh, the three mana open, and I'll pass the turn. Untap him with Shark Typhoon. Ooh. Uh, that that ooh was more excited than I needed it to be. It's just top, which is cool, because I get a shark. <laughs> uh, and then I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Oh, I'm so excited to draw shark tokens, but this is like a baby shark. Do, 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 do. Um, I just realized I don't have enough mana to cast Phage. Oopsies. Oh. I'm so smart, but I'm going to uptick Lily to two to make, let's see, Kess discard a card. Wow. Uh, really? <laughs> now I'm feeling bad like I shouldn't. It's okay. Um, I just have protection from things. No, it's okay. I discard Dobin's Veto. Okay. Um... So I guess actually, I top in uh, I top in response. Yeah. Right. I should do Cast, that. You, should... Did you do anything on your turn? Uh, I played uh, Sensei's Divine Top. Did you? So I drew off that. Did you pay for it for a stick study? Uh, I did not pay for it on my stick study. I'll I'll draw okay. a top, and then I will uh, discard flag shields I took here in response. Okay. Um, I'm going to tap. Three, mm -hmm. three mana. Um, I'm gonna play Dothy Embrace, and I will pay the one for Rustic. Can you uh, spell Dothy? D a u t h i. Yeah, would have never, never spelled that correctly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is an enchantment two and a black target creature gains shadow until end of turn. Yep. Um, and with that, I am going to hmm. pass because I should, uh, I really, I really wish I had another mana. So I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
fun. I'm so excited. Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Uh, so we're gonna play this fellow. Who is he? Uh, he has death touch, and whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life. X is the number of times this creature is mutated. So he is mutated twice, so everybody loses two life. And I gain yeah. two life. You gain, oh, equal amount you mutated, not equal pay horrific life. study? Uh, no. Draw your card. Thank you. Uh, and then I draw from her, um, I don't want you drawing too many cards, spooky. Um, hmm. Um, we have a flying shark. I don't like discard. No. Uh, Cass. I'm gonna swing a 3 4. Death touch. Flying in the air. Doesn't have, doesn't have trample though, right? Nope. Yep, I block with my flying shark. Okay. And I passed her. Okay. I will. Cass, what, what do you have on board? You have a shark typhoon and a shark? I don't have any creatures in play currently. Do you have two mana open? Uh, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five mana open. Gotcha. Uh, all right, I will untap. We'll keep. Let Mr. Grimori go. Draw for turn. I will play a reflecting pool. Let's see. Let's cast Najila. She resolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I will cast a monitor. Tutor. Hmm. Any response? Dope is veto. You are. Discard Dope is veto. No, I didn't. I said that. Never mind. I, and I flagged. I discarded flag. So it's okay. It's okay. Thanks to the top. Because the top. I forgot I had top, and I could draw with it. That's why I don't have top in play. Hmm. Since I I'm did so that, sorry. I'm allowing you to take back your Vampiric Tutor, and you don't have to do that this turn. Ooh. Okay. Don't even worry about it, Alex. Ooh. The contempt. Uh, hmm. I do get a Hammerhead Shark who's flying due to being attached to a bunch of balloons. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... Jess is professionally I'm judging my to... bad turn. <laughs> oh, no. I guess I'm, I'm, still, I'm still responding. Oh, okay. It's There's a shark. Token trigger off of Shark Typhoon. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to chance for glory in response. I don't know what that card does, but sure. Creatures you control gain indestructible until the end of turn. Uh, take an extra turn after this one at the end of that. At the beginning of that turn's end step, you lose the game. Oh, okay. You're going to gamble a bit. Okay. Yep. That I get a shark. Yep. Uh, all right. 
That is all of my mana. That ends this turn. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. untap, upkeep, draw. So I'm going to go four mana. Um, Lines you control. Uh, Cassie, you've got a 2 2 now. Is anybody without a blocker currently? Me. I don't have a blocker. All right, I'm going to cast Nature's Will. Okay, got to tap all our lands. Number one or more creatures deals combat damage to a player. Tap all lands that player controls and untap all lands you control. Um, all so... of the infinite combos. <laughs> Look, man, I tried to build a good deck. What do you want from me? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to... We got a woe from the chat. I'm going to Kaikar wins Fury pre-combat. I do like that card. I love Kaikar. And then I'm going to enter my attack step. Mm -hmm. And I will come at you for four... So with the with the kike with the Vigila and the warrior token. I'll block the Vigila. No, I'm not coming at you. You can block. Oh, 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 oh. You said Who are you I'm hitting? coming at you. Why don't <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't get salty. Wait, please. sorry, who has, who has no creatures again? I'm a little blind. Me, no creatures. Yeah, so that uh, I wanna go at you. I'm the only one with a blocker. Yeah. I don't have any blockers either. So me? Yes. How much? No, 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 no. Wait, sorry. I, I, I can't see anybody's <laughs> mouth moving. So whoever has no blocker is who I'm going at. But there's two of us who don't have blockers. Yeah. Oh, neither of you have blockers. Yeah, me and uh, Jess don't have blockers. Yeah, I'm tough got, got, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, I was going to go at Jess, but I'll go at... <laughs> Carson, RAP everybody, but then charged particle gun. I guess Ben wins. <laughs> I'll, go at you, I'll go at you, Chase. Okay, how much? For four damage. Okay. And then pre combat, before before damage, I'll, I'll metamorphose, make a token, draw a card, add two mana, untap all my lands, tap all yours. Ooh, charge particle of gun says you should have split the attack for two nature's will triggers. That would have been sick. Uh, okay, everything is now on. <laughs> oh, wait, it's just on top of lands, though, right? Yeah, just lands. But I now have the mana to do the five. So then I'll tap five so I get an extra attack step after this. Actually, I have two floating, so I can do it like that. Um, I'm going to psych rift to everyone. For combat? No. Oh. Alex, anything? No. I only have colorless mana untapped because I tapped my land terribly, not paying attention to what was going on. So then is that that is game, correct? Yeah, yeah, you got the game. Oof. Oof. See, I never got to phage part one. You are close. I don't know why I was you so tutor cool. for. Why did you tutor for the like put phage into your hand versus just since you already had torpor orb in play? Um. Well, I always like to play it safe when it oh, comes sure. to torpor orb because I've had people where I will be like I cast phage and in, in response they'll like beast within, mm. um, and I don't want to die that way. That's fair. Um. So I typically I typically tend to do that. My my fatal flaw was when I did the secondary Liliana tutor. I tutored for a Douthy Embrace because I forgot I had a Whisper Silk Cloak. Uh, and I should have tutored for a land to cast Phage to then attack. But that was my mistake is that I yeah, I just like forgot about my Whisper Silk yeah, I, um, being out on the battlefield. I like very I, my, that last turn I like made multiple mistakes in how I tapped my lands. I could have tapped my thing to lose two life and top and yeah. then topped. Which would have let me play another land, and then I would have been able to path and Venser, Ben. But I didn't do that, so Ben won. Yay! 
Congrats, Ben. You won two in a row. I'm Thank trying you. to match your play mat. Thank you, Jack. my play mat. Uh, all right. So I think that's the last game, right? I don't. I don't. I, I am confident. Yeah, yeah, I think I we're am good. Confident. Uh, so for people in chat right now, as I move my camera back into position, as I mess it up. I forgot to unscrew the thing, so I was literally unscrewing it. Uh, hello. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So uh, right now what's going to happen is Ben is going to run away and go to his own stream, and then we will eventually raid him. So Ben, now say goodbye. It's already stream it's, I'm already, I'm already, I'm already streaming. I already, I, I, I was ahead of the game this time. He's ahead of the game this time. So, so we are going to say our goodbyes and thank yous, and then I'm going to raid Ben's stream. But in the meantime, uh, first off, thanks so much for our two... Wonderful guests, uh, Chase and Jess. Thank you so much. Where can uh, I guess Jess? Since Chase opened up, Jess, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me anywhere at Inkling Customs or InklingCustoms.com is a good place. Yeah. She makes Thank awesome you so much for and stuff. These are from Aww. her Patreon. They're amazing. Uh, we should be getting some more soon. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm hyped. Hopefully, the mail works. These days, it's not the best. Um, yeah, it's been weird. Uh, Chase, where can people find you? Hi, so my name is Chase, also known as Mana Curves. You can find me on Twitter at Mana Curves. I also have a cool Patreon, a sick Discord, and um, I have a cool Twitch as well. I like to uh, play Paper Commander on stream Wednesdays and Sundays, and I do a deck building stream on Tuesdays, and I write for a TCG player. So, yeah, you can also find my articles on TCG Player about uh, deck building and, and super cool stuff. Um, but I have an article coming out tomorrow about collaborative deck building. So I'm actually really excited to see how that is perceived. But, yeah, that is uh, that's me. And thank you for having me on again. This is super fun. Yeah, absolutely. And we're and and so shout outs for us. We are doing these every Monday now. Uh, we actually might change. So up to this point, we've been doing the show every Monday at eight thirty. This is partially because Ben had a show earlier. Uh, I think we're gonna look to um, do it uh, earlier because uh, for our wonderful East Coast friends and also our own health and maybe get a little bit more Commander games in, uh, it allows us to kind of start a little bit earlier. So uh, there'll be more official announcements, especially take, take a listen to the Masters of Modern podcast uh, that comes out every Friday. We'll announce exactly the time uh, that this will be starting next Monday, but expect it about an hour earlier. So that that's super exciting. Um, we're, yeah, we're doing Commander uh, next week. I don't know who the guests are yet. Uh, I know that in two weeks we have Playing With Power coming on um, and we're going to do actual CDH then, but next week will be a little bit more casual focused. Uh, maybe Ben will learn the ways of uh, tempering <laughs> how much cards he draws a game. I don't think he'll ever do that. Um, and make sure to follow me. I'm at Cass Wiley. Make sure to follow Ben at Ben Bateman Media. We're actually going to go to a stream, so at Ben Bateman Streaming is where we're going to go. Please follow here. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Uh, once this chat is done, YouTube, it's I can't raid Twitch with YouTube. That's not a piece of technology I have, but uh, definitely recommend go check out Ben's stream. Uh, he's starting up as we speak already. I think he's already been uh, glitched out, so we no longer can even see him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much uh, for coming on. I hope you guys had fun. I'm sorry we like <laughs> kept comboing out. That's not normally the intent, uh, but it happens once in a while. <laughs> it's okay. It was it's fun. good. Uh, fun games. We got to die interesting ways. <laughs> exactly. How many wheels can you cast into, uh, what's it called, Storm? Uh, where is the thing? Here it is. And then I can raid, hopefully. Um, any last minute shout outs before we, we venture? Um, it's almost 3 a.m. My brain's so fried. I don't, uh, check out Jess's tokens. She does wonderful <laughs> commissions. Uh. <laughs> So, that's that's my rep. Uh, make sure to go vote. <laughs> oh yeah, there, definitely yeah, vote. Sure vote. Make sure you need to know if you have stamps or not, because I know that there are some parts of the country that stamps are um, more stamps are required than you would think to be able to vote through mail. So so definitely. Oh uh, yeah. Um, and mail early. And Don't. mail early. And then uh, also, oh, and in the chat, uh, uh, Carson has been able to provide inklingcustoms.com. And then lastly, oh, uh, definitely check out the Discord for HAG, Highlander Arena Gauntlet. Uh, it's yeah. dope, and it's going to be the easiest way to challenge me and or Ben. 
uh, to a game of Magic uh, <laughs> without uh, just like willy nilly, because that's basically all I'm doing. I have two wheels already, because I can possibly can't not just build decks, and Arena makes it so easy. Uh, thanks everyone. Thank you both for coming on. It's been really great. And let's 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 raid this guy. Start raid. We got two, four, five, six, seven. I think that. Here we go in five, four, three, two. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. And then it rated. I think that's how this works.